Hi, everybody. This is Mr. Crandall. We are on day four, page four, week one of our packet. We'll be working on sequencing. Sequencing is a very important skill for students to have. It helps them understand what order the story takes place in. So, for example, if you have a rock on top of a hill, and then, so oops, if you have a rock on top of a hill in the first picture, and to the right of that, you have a rock falling down, which one happened first? Probably the rock sat on top of the hill first, and then the rock fell down. Usually you can't have a rock fall down and then be at the top of the hill. This is called sequencing. It shows you what order things happen. This one happened, and then this one happened. In fact, there are also some words we can use called transition words or sequencing words. You could say, first, the rock sat on the hill, or in the beginning, a rock sat on the hill. And then you could say, next, Remember, as always, I'm writing on my computer screen, so the screen wiggles a little bit when I try and write stuff. Next, the rock fell down the hill. Or, then, the rock fell down the hill. Those are called transition words. Transition words. Now, in our story, and by in our story, I mean in our page, let's read the directions. Sequence and write a story set, number two. Directions. Cut and paste the pictures in order. Write about your story. Use transitional words from the word bank. Sequencing words, first, next, then, also, after, last, and finally. How to plant a garden. And that's what our story is going to be about. Now, by the way, it says for you to cut out those dotted lines, but if you cut them out, then you'll be cutting out the back side of the paper, too. And it's, I think it's easier if you just write numbers next to them so we know what happens first. Let's see. We have a little boy with a watering can. We have a little boy with a trowel. That's what that little shovel thing is called for digging. We have some plants growing. And then we have a young girl planting tomato seeds. Which one has to happen first? Well, he has to dig a hole first. Can't plant the seeds just on top of the ground unless they're grass seeds. Grass seeds apparently can grow without... No, no, you got to pour dirt on top of them. Never mind. It's better to have dirt on top of your seeds. After the holes are dug... You need to make the seeds. And look, they're tomato seeds. Red tomato right there. Then you water them. And then they grow. So I'm going to give you the first two sentences of this story. And then you'll have to write the rest. Let's zoom in. Here is how to plant a garden. Does it say garden or plant plants? Yeah, here is how to plant a garden. First, notice that I'm using one of these sequencing words. You have to use one of these sequencing words in front of every one of your sentences except the first one. First, right there, first, Dig holes for your seeds. Dig holes for your seeds. Find another transition word. Let's go with next. What happens after we plant, dig the holes for the seeds? We put the seeds in the dirt. First, dig holes for your seeds in the dirt. Then, comma, Pour some seeds into the holes. There we go. Now, I've got to fix this a little bit because we have to indent. Now, one thing they want you to do, one thing they want you to do when you're all done with your writing is to check to see if your writing was makes sense. So when you're done, check your writing for, check your writing for capital letters, Where's my indentation? Let's see. Deep, 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 deep. There's the indentation. Check your writing for capital letters, for spacing, 
capital letters, spacing, punctuation, spelling, and neatness. Now, like I said, I only did the first few sentences, so you got to work on the rest ones on your own. Uh, I believe in you, as always. This is day four, page four, week one of our packet. Have a great day.